welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back if you are back or welcome if you are new i hope you guys are having a great day today we did it i know that i said that this was going to be a me time musings topic for tomorrow but this has just been with me all day and i felt like i had to film about it today i am so incredibly happy we voted with our dollar, we made it count, and we made it matter. Because Kat Von D just sold all of her shares of Kat Von D Beauty to the company Kendo. Which is incredible. Now, I have lots of opinions on this. Um, and I've been trying to articulate them all day and I feel like it's going to come out kind of messy so I'm just going to dive into it the best that I can. But as always, a disclaimer here, these thoughts are mine and my own. They do not reflect on the company I work for, my employer, or anyone else who is associated with me professionally or personally. These are just my personal opinions and they may be invalid, um, but they are the opinions that I have myself. Now, Kat Von D has sold all of her shares of Kat Von D beauty. And this was because of the beauty community. We voted with our dollars and it showed the company was just not successfully making sales anymore. Certainly not to the level that they were when I was working at Sephora. I guess four years ago or so and they were on the top of the market everybody loved lolita everybody loved the um locket foundation which was not good for my skin but lots of people love that and there are formulas for lots of their eyeshadows and their contour palettes that are great and their fans love them but when kat von d came out and said that she was not going to be vaccinating her child people in the beauty community who have an issue with that took a stand and didn't purchase from her anymore also she was considered to be potentially an anti-semite now i don't know as much about that i did watch her video where she said like she went into the expose of why all of these things about her being an anti-Semite were um, fault. In that video, she didn't address a lot of the things people were concerned with in terms of her potential anti-Semitism. Um, and she was just very vague about a lot of topics. Oh, do you want to be on camera? <gasps> Ruby's back today. Hey, Ruby. She is such a princess. Oh, she's going to get my face. Go ahead. Remus is in here also. You gonna come through too, buddy? This is Remus. Remus was, normally won't come around. Turn around. <laughs> Achoo. Oh! <laughs> Rough. <laughs> go lay down, please. Please go lay down. In the video that Kat Von D put out addressing the accusations of her being potentially anti-Semitic and being anti-vax, she declared that she was neither, but spent most of the time speaking to some of, but not all of the topics people were concerned with in terms of potential anti-Semitism, and spent maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe a couple minutes talking about the anti-vax concern, which I think was a lot of people's newest concern, because it was the thing that had happened most recently at that point. And if you if you don't know why anti-vax sentiment is such a polarizing issue it's because not only does not vaccinating your child potentially put your child at risk but it also puts the very vulnerable populations who cannot receive vaccinations at risk of being affected by many diseases that they otherwise wouldn't necessarily come in contact with. So it's dangerous and it's dangerous in my opinion to support someone who is doing that. Now she has said that she is moving on 
and she has this vegan shoe brand and that's all fine well and good if you're a Kat Von D supporter and you want to support her you still have opportunities to um, she also is launching a music career, but the beauty community has, vo they voted with their dollar. We've all voted with our dollar. I stopped purchasing from Kat Von D immediately when I, when I read that. Um, and I do still have a few things of hers in my collection that I haven't decluttered, um, but they're all essentially worthless at this point because they are all basically expired so I'm actually getting ready to do a declutter here in just a few minutes so that's uh, going to be part of that but I felt like this was something I couldn't even wait until tomorrow to talk about so we did do it we voted with our dollar now on to the idea of do I personally want to support the new KVD vegan beauty brand this is owned by Kindo. They own lots of other companies. I believe Ula Hendrickson is one of those. Um, but I'm not going to be supporting KVD Vegan Beauty. And not because I don't want to go back to using the formulas, because there are lots of Kat Von D products that I really, really enjoyed and I had in my collection. I don't think they have separated in terms of branding far enough from her. I, anybody who knows of Kat Von D Beauty will know that KVD is her name. That's, <laughs> she, that's her initials. So no, I will not be purchasing personally from them. Do I think it's a problem for people to purchase from them? No, she's not getting any of the money. So I don't think it's a problem, but for me personally, I don't think that it was enough of a branding separation um, from Kat Von D's problematic views that were so problematic that I would say this was a decision probably made on Kendo's behalf. Um, now that I don't know that, I certainly don't know that, but that would be my guess. Um, and. I just, I don't think it was a far enough split. You know, she's still going to get the credit. And if you had said, hey, community, you voted with your dollar and we are going to be separating ourselves from the person that you find to be problematic. This is our new launch, our new brand. The formulation is the same. The products are the same. We're still going to be a vegan brand, so you still have that option to receive good quality vegan products, but we're not going to be associated with her anymore. And they didn't fully do that. They did enough of that that I don't think it's a problem to support them, um, but I will not be supporting them unless they make the decision to further separate themselves and change the name fully. Um, and do a full separate launch with a separate name. I will not be purchasing KVD Beauty or KVD Vegan Beauty. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. This was kind of a shorter video. I didn't have that that many thoughts to uh, put out there because it just kind of came up on me suddenly today and I am happy to see that it's going to be something we can look forward to future updates on. I am glad that people who weren't supporting Kat Von D personally but really enjoyed her products had the opportunity to purchase them again. But again, personally, I just will not be because I don't think that the separation was quite far enough. Also, if you saw the unboxing video I did yesterday with the Wet n Wild products, they are so awesome the um the 40 palette is what i have on my eyes today and i love it and i also have the gemini gloss on because i figured yesterday i tried on the cancer gloss because i thought it was the prettiest one but with this yellow look i thought that a golden gloss would look nice and i think that's just over latte by anastasia beverly hills that's the lipstick i have on thank you guys so much for watching 
I hope you have a wonderful day. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Leave some comments down below and please give this a share if you would like. That would make me really happy. Otherwise, you don't have to do any of those things. I just thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye! He is so talkative.